Welcome back to the Feed the Beast server that I play on my friends. I'm Azuzu, and we've made a lot of progress. I actually went to a LAN over the weekend, and we ended up doing a lot of Minecraft. And uh, we actually got a couple other people that will probably play with us. GFL, George Button Lesta. And we also have Wardson, which he hasn't been on, and he hasn't been on, but that's okay. That was only like a day ago or so. Um, we did a lot of work on the server. Um, you can tell also Little Tuffy has replaced Old Rusty, and now Jeffrey has been upgraded to a new Jeffrey. They're steel, and they have auto repair as well, which are pretty freaking schnazzy. Up here, I put a cold coke oven, so now we have that going on up here, and then this space will be for a blast furnace when we finally are able to go to the nether. Um, made an anvil, because we didn't have one, and... We can rename things easier and use our levels, which we don't have an enchanting table for. I'm going to start, but I'll wait a couple. Um, we actually did a lot of raiding of villages and exploring, so now we have a, um, <clears throat> a writing desk. That's pretty much it for this level, I think. Food's there, everything's the same downstairs. And then we got more heads. Yeah! Last time we left you with the barn being completed, but now we have a giant terrace garden. So if we come up here... We now have our blackberry bushes fully decked out. We have our raspberry bushes, blueberry, and these are mallowberry. Um, I found these out in... Uh, oh, goodness, where did I find these? I don't remember. It was when we did a giant adventure. We actually went off the coast back there and then just went south for something like 10,000, 15,000 blocks, something like that. We got melon seeds, which I think we got in a dungeon somewhere. And we got... Uh, Pumpkins. We have our cotton. Oh, oh, jeez, I thought I killed that. Uh, taters, carrots, wheat, barley, and our gardens are set. And I'm, I believe everything here is, uh, no monsters will spawn up here, which is always an added benefit. We also added these roads, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but I am moving a little bit faster than if I was just walking on here. I think you can see it more when I'm doing this. Yeah, it is. It, it, I move a little bit faster. So this is made with, you take gravel up at the smeltery up there, and you put a bar or half bar of tin in there, and it makes a, oh god, what is it? It's road. Oh, seared road. Stone road. No, nah, it's brownstone road. Huh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. No, I didn't know those two. Cool, so, oh, nice. So yeah. Brownstone Road. It's pretty nifty. Um, what else here? This will be for our Twilight Forest entrance. I'm going to wait for Coppola to be on before we go on an adventure there. They follow the Brownstone Road back here. There will be the Nether Portal, which is pretty nice. Oh, and we got vines too, finally. So now this is all going to be fine and dandy decked out. I also finished a larger section of the lattice underneath. So now it wraps all the way around this way. And it goes quite a ways before stopping down here. And I just realized I'm not eating, or I'm not running because I'm starving to death. There we go. I'm probably gonna have to bust out my, actually do it now. Cheers, thank you. Oops, did not want to get rid of that one. No! I think I just woke up because I'm not good at what I'm doing. Put those there for decoration. Put that there. Cool. Alright, let's get out of this little confined area and go running. So as you can see, much faster when you're running. Whee! Um, deep place mine. We actually found one of those poison pools, which is pretty nifty. I think that was pretty much all we did. It was it felt like a lot because we played for like three, two, three days full. Um <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to get to work on some other miscellaneous junk, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back when we have a little bit more to show. Actually, I'll probably wait until Coppola comes on so we can go on, on adventures. Anyways, I will be back soon. I do remember one thing we did. Uh, we added quality of life updates down here to deep place mines. So we added stairs that go all the way down to diamond level where we were starting to branch mine. 
this goes back up to the other area. But if we go all the way down here, we have stairs to bedrock, essentially, which is one of the areas that we're looking. And then this is that poison water I was talking about, which we'll probably add as waterfalls and other random stuff in um, the nether portal room. But if you jump in, you get poisoned and hungered for three seconds and it hurts you pretty bad. Oh, we're just gonna hide that. Um, anyways, I will be back. I am waiting on the edge of this burp forest for day to rise, or rather the moon to set, so that I can go into a village that's right in there. You may remember this area from the beginning of the video series, because I was already here once. <laughs> I'm going to go raid some villages because I need some glowstone before we open up that twilight forest, and you'll see why. Yeah, so there's not much in this village so far. I was hoping for... Um, what are those things called? Uh, the Foamcraft Tower, but uh, yeah, there's not one here. Foamcraft Towers actually have a block of glowstone in there, and you can use that and break it and get some glowstone dust. Um, basically, just need two things of glowstone, and I can make what I want to make. And where's the entrance to this? Right here. What's up? these poor chaps. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna keep adventuring on like I usually do. Shoot, I was hoping for a palm craft tower. So one thing that we did when we were uh, at the land was uh, went on a huge adventure like I said. Ridiculous amounts of blocks and uh, I found when opening... oh nice. I found when opening these I ended up getting a uh, Portal gun, which was pretty schnazzy. Um, I don't, I don't want that string. I want these cocoa beans though. And ooh, nice. Um, we ended up getting a portal gun, but at the same time, on my travels back, I got hit uh, by a rogue slime, and that slime caused me to fall. Oh, nice a village. Uh, caused me to lose my boat, which I had to swim to shore, and I got basically tag teamed by 500 monsters. So, I'm slowly on my way back out to the location which I've called, what did I call it? It was Chest on the Beach, which had a bunch of my stuff because I lost my knapsack. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm making my way slowly out there to see what uh, what the dealio is, get my stuff back. Ooh. Um, so, what? Get away from that door. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh man, I saved your life, dude. And eventually, I'll get out to chest on the beach and uh, acquire all my junk. And we also did raid a lot of... Seriously, guys? There we go. And I'm gonna get my stuff back. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'll just take that and that. And these flowers. Oh, and I lost a lot of plants and trees and stuff. So I'll get all of it back. I need it back. I want it back. Let's put all these away. Okay, so I will be questing and continuing on with my journey. Here's another one. Oh boy. I didn't expect it to spawn so quickly. I usually get here just before they spawn. Nice! I have no idea what that is, but okay, I'll take it. I'll take the shovel. Don't have any of these. I'll take that steel helm. Oh boy. This is a untreated frame? Yeah. Do I want the tin and stuff? Yeah, I'll take the tin. I'll take the copper. Nice. Okay. My quest continues. I'm getting super lucky out in this birch forest. Here's another. Quickly! Oh, yeah. I also found a sword of the zephyr, which I believe I lost as well. Oh. Ooh, I'll take that bread and that saddle and that looting. Alright, time to keep... Oh, there's another. Is it covered in shrimp webs? No, it's not. It is not. It is not. But according to Dynemap, there is a village over yonder. So I'm gonna go there. 
What the hell? An ender tot? The hell is an ender tot? First, get rid of these guys, because these guys are a bunch of jokers. Oh my god, it makes little tooting noises and stuff. Uh, oh! What the flip? No! Why me? Oh god, now a spider's after me. Tech, tech, full retreat. This is how I died. I died. So I've reached the Thunder Biome, which allows me to go hyperspeed, and there's my last death point. So I'll be able to make it there before everything vanishes. I wish I had known that at the time, well, rather, I wish I had known where I was when I died the first time, way back in, with the portal gun and stuff like that, because I would be able to find it much easier. Um, I believe it's only another 3,000, 4,000 blocks south, and I think the Tundra Biome encompasses all of it. But anyways, I'll be back at my last death point soon. I finally reached the coast. And I'm so close. I actually ran out of hunger too, so I'm afraid that uh, I'm going to die out here. So I'm trying to limit my jumps and punches and everything else. Oh, so there's my... Oh! Yes! Knapsack, you out here? Anything? That creeper's still following me? Food is priority. Everything looks safe. Okay, knapsack needs to go. Needs to go on. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm so scared about that creeper right there. Let's put all this away. Pick up more junk. Oh, he fell in a hole. And this is where I climb. Switch over. Jeffrey, do I have Jeffrey? Yes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Woo! Oh, creeper head. Nice. Okay, I need to get my junk. I'm back to the Badlands. This is a biome that blew my freaking mind. Not only is there hard and sand, I think that's what it's called, there's also clay, two layers, two to three layers deep. So freaking good. I'll never run out of clay again. I love it. I freaking love it. I don't have to go piss about in the water and stuff like that. I can just come here and mine up some clay. Oh, this, is all this clay too? Oh my god, it's so beautiful! I love clay. You always need it. So I'm actually getting close. I think I'm two biomes away from chest on a beach. I should be seeing it soon too, now that I think only an ocean is between me and it. But uh, yeah, I'll be back there soon. And then I can craft a... I think I'm going to sail back to base. And uh, make a stop off at a couple places. And um, yeah, I've actually made it quite a quite far distance. Um, feels good to be going back to chest on the beach. And I'll just get all the valuable stuff out of there and knock the rest out. I'll probably dispatch with all of these tools because it seems like they're fairly common. Um, oh, well, I'm just going to swim it. So anyways, I'm going to continue my adventures. Ah, uh, this biome. This biome sucks, because you can't make anything out of these dead trees. What's it called again? Dead swamp. See, these are dead trees, can't make anything out of them, so I actually had to punch my way out of, uh, or make a boat out of, what are those called? That thing. Uh, rubber trees. And it was absolutely sucky. Oh, this place is awful. It looks really cool, but it's just there's just nothing of value out here that I found. Except for there was a there was a village though. Oh, as I say, there's nothing of value. There's a freaking witch hut right there, which I'm gonna go pillage. Let's go see what's inside of it. Splash! Oh, jeez, down there's muck. God, this water is disgusting. There we go. Just the best part about Jeffrey is his. Frickin' leaping abilities. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Wait, is that not the front door? Oh, it's not. This is the front door. Please do not have a witch. That's all I ask. Sweet. I'll take that. 
I'll take that. Actually, I'm not going to use any of these, so screw it. Now I'm extremely paranoid. I'm running away because the witch would completely toast me in like a second. Okay. I'm close. I can feel it. Feel it in me bones. So, I'll be back soon? Yes. Back soon. So this is the last village that I was at, and I remember stashing in here some glowstone. Yes, glowstone. Um, goodbye. Um, goodbye. Oak saplings. I'll take these force gems, too. Put this in here for now, because I've got more force gems in here. Yes. Okay. This was a good village. This was after I died multiple times and lost the portal gun, sort of the zephyr, and god knows what else. Uh, this was my... My saving grace. It uh, made me not want to kill myself after losing so many precious items. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to bust these down and I'm going to continue uh, heading towards that chest. Oh my god. Look what I just found. I also just died a while ago and I had to run all the way back once again. So what I'll do is actually I'll do this. I don't have my torches, they're there. Okay, let's slowly migrate our way in. Stairs? Okay. So we got... Oh god, really? Already? This is where I die. Maybe not? Get out! Get out of my hole! 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 Get out of my hole. Get out, of my hole. Get out, 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 out! Oh my god. This game, guys. Jesus. Flip. Okay. Light, light this up. I want all this mossy stone. He's holding a piece of moss stone, which is not good. Oh boy. This is where I just slowly dismantle everything, trying to get to the spawners, which are... Oh, nope. Back in I go. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this. Okay, I think, yep, cool. So I just need to bash that and cover the hole. Actually, no, they're, they can't get through, so I'll just keep it there. Oh, I don't know if this is cheesing or not, but this is how I'm going to tackle the situation. The safest course possible. Knock. What? Oh no. Stay. Where'd it go? Oh, is there not one over here? No, there's not. Well, I got rid of the spider spawner. I can just sprint my way over here, knock you out. Nice! Okay, now it's just a matter of killing everything else. Arrows. Which I lost. Get rid of stuff on this level. Anything upstairs? The zombler. Wish I had a bucket of lava. I have a bucket. So, three, lots of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go back. Oh, hello. Right, I'm going back down. I'm gonna go this way. In here? Yes. That's it. Nice, I got it. I think there's supposed to be like a bad node there, but nothing's spawning. Stuff! More stuff. Ew, oh, ooh. Okay. I have to play an inventory game. Teehee! So you wait long enough, and one of the wisps do does spawn. Ooh. I was almost done mining out the entire place, too, when he came out of nowhere and just... There he is. Ooh. <laughs> so, I need to get out of here without dying. Can I? Is he... 
<laughs> okay, can I just bouncy play fucking... Oh, yes! I don't want the essence, they can go away. I just want to get the rest of the essence down. Yeah, this is what it looks like so far, now that I'm ransacking the joint. I just want to get the rest of the mossy stone like, that I'm leaving. But if another one spawns, I'm just going to sprint out of this joint so fast, because I do not like fighting wisps when I have nothing to protect myself with. And can't fly. That's the other big one. Or don't have arrows, or pretty much everything, because I'm retarded and I died, decided to die a couple times. And lose my knapsack. Again! I, uh, that knapsack. I've never been so sad. It's like the third time I've lost it due to dying. Okay. Just need to get the entrance stuff. Oh, the ceiling. God damn it. Okay. Time to continue mining and getting everything. There we go. Done. I got it all. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Well, except for entrance stone, but... I'm out of here! Peace out, Skellington! Wee. This is also a strange biome. What is it? Forested field. Okay. Oh god. Is that great oak tree? Is that a spider webbed one? No. Okay. I got a hundred more meters so I can just sprint and jump my way over there. And then we can figure out what we can keep and then we're gonna get out of this hellhole. Man, that was, that's something that I completely skipped over, too, when I was first originally adventuring out here, was that kind of stuff. Okay, an old longsword. Oh my god. This will take a while to figure out, because I want to keep the books. Mm, no, no, no. Actually, there's not much I want to keep in here. Take that tin, take the books take anything else I can. Actually, there's nothing else I really want. I'll keep the waypoint, though, just for memory's sake. Yeah, so here's one of the areas where the creeper blew me up and destroyed everything I owned. And I pretty much died all out inside this bay over and over and over again. But, yeah. It's done. It is done. Let me check out these trees while the sun's setting to see if they're cobwebbed up or not. And then I'm gonna take my treasure back with me. I think they're fine. Uh, yeah, they're fine. Shit. Oh, hello. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back home. The long journey begins. Set sail! To home! And I think if I go out into the water, the sound of the rain ceases. Maybe not. No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to sail home. Home, home, home feels so good to be home. I just realized I lost all my bees. Crap. I have a lot of stuff to put away, and I'm kind of going cross-eyed right now. At least we got a safari net. We can use that for something, which is good. Let's go upstairs. This goes in bees. Upstairs. This goes here. Oh god. WTF. I've been putting books up here. And seeds go in here. Put the ender pearls here. Yeah, four ender pearls. I need four more to make a grabby gun. Which will be soon. That's the recipe. And then when we do the Twilight Forest, we can lightening ourselves up and get supercharged. I hope that still works because if it doesn't, it'd be pretty sad. Oh, let's see what I got out of these. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I can't. There we go. Another bit of force mitts, which I still don't understand what the deal is with them. Oh nice, rubber saplings. Cool. Got a bunch of treasure. Which is good. Alright, time to organize. Now that I am home and checked things out, I realize that I'm pretty much out of time. So, 
This episode, we went on a crazy adventure and came back uh, partially safely. Came back multiple times dead, I should say. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna think I've got. Think I'm going to have to call it. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I will continue working on random stuff, and when Copes gets on, we will start the Nether exploration, which is down on the other side of the house, and the Twilight Forest uh, exploration. Um, anyways. Hope you all enjoyed the episode, and take care.